Hey everyone, I hope you're well. Did you know there's a bunch of easter eggs hidden within the new evolution update? All of which are sort of teasing lots of content and lore to come. Now lore has been pretty quiet this season, but that's probably going to change. There are so many underlying stories that are about to be exposed to us, perhaps in game in some ways. So I'm going to jump in and showcase some of these really big lore pieces today. So let's get into it. So we're going to go check out all of the lore, the little secret Easter eggs uh, and hidden details in Rampart's Town Takeover, because there's a lot. Now I'm not going to go here with every legend, but there's a bunch of things you can ping with every legend. There's like a mural on the wall, uh, which is like has like a painting of all the legends. Um, I'm ping that with every legend and get different voice lines. Seems like we're alone, so that's great. But, um, you know, we'll just ping it with Rampart. And then you can ping the weapons as well, the Rampart weapons. So first things first, there's a voice log here. So let's listen to this. Hey, little Peach, a big, big brother. Thanks for the mods. My father's loving his new art paint job. Brings out the light in his eyes. And <laughs> art. <laughs> What's that, Dama? Yes, I'm telling her. I'm Round telling her. Beginning Sorry, he just wanted to make sure I told you. <laughs> Rings far. Not sure for this bit. Hey, P. Said it before saying it again. You know how to make a piece of hardware. And by that, I mean you mix a mean drink. You ought to put a big R on those, too. <laughs> Gotta say, I miss hanging with you and Jibby at the old haunt. Maybe we all ought to get to the Gibby? sometime. Gibby, bang. Gibby, come on. You know, you'd be harder to find if you Francis. Your name in lights, Ramya. Just calling to say, big sister's worried about Ooh. you. Especially after what happened to your last job. Ooh. <sighs> be seeing you. More low of big sister in the future? Interesting. All right, quick update. I actually think we know who this is. Thanks to one of the concept art pieces for the Season 6 lore, Francis is actually one of the people that works for Big Sister and attacked Rampart's shop. Here's a look at her on screen. Ha! Huh, what a lovely pleasure. I usually don't do a gauntlet round twice in one day, but your eyes are just screaming desperation. Uh, don't even think about it. <sighs> right. Everyone got their clean knickers on? I know he does. Oh? Ramya, do not be mad. But I removed the mod you put on my heart chamber. I do not need my micro drone spelling. <laughs> yeah. Nice. This is Obi. Pelek. Blisk. This is I. I'm calling about the custom order. Why I said you are me. <laughs> I'll be in touch. A custom order. Do you think that's related to Ash? I don't know. Maybe. So what's this I hear about you getting all your funding from Hammond? Careful there, Ramya. Don't want another big sister situation. Anyway, give me a call. Let's hang out tonight. Stop spending so much time with your roomie. Wink. Wait. Roomie is Mirage. But they're, they're just brother and sister, right? Like, they have that kind of friendship. Hey, Ramya, it's your number one customer, probably. Leaving a message for my number one fan, definitely. Say, you wouldn't happen to know anything about some missing holotech from my me voyage, do you? I mean, I'd really I'd hate to be you, because let's just say, Ramya, One minute. Detective Mirage is on the case. Oh, well. And he's on to you, <laughs> Ramya, and he's a loose cannon who likes to play by his own rules. So I, if I were you, just, you know, can I please have my stuff back? <laughs> I like that Mirage has, like, more confidence speaking to, to Rampart, because he's, um, you know, he's got, like, a Good friendship of her. I feel like that's really cool. Right. Gumball machine. Tons of images of World's Edge. Yeah. Oh, this is her Apex card. This is the card that Blisk gave her. That's so cool. <laughs> Burn it. Well, you put up one hell of a fight, kid. But it's your lucky day, eh? Yeah. You earned this. Let's get you patched up. Alright, there's a few other things around. I mean, there's this as well. Hope everyone's happy with their likeness. Just kidding. You couldn't give it to us. <laughs> it's really cool. I love it, personally. I love it. Um, and there's a couple things downstairs as well. Aw, oh, 
my first mod. Still can't figure out how I got it to fire paintballs that fast without catching fire. <laughs> nice. And then one more over here. Wish the real big sis was here. Motionless and full of bullet holes. Well, a girl can dream, eh? <laughs> they definitely have some big things planned, man, for the whole big sister story. It's not just going anywhere, you know? Oh, we got to ping the weapons. We've got to go and check out... What the? <laughs> a new teaser, which somewhat is related to Bangalore's lore. Now, we've been hearing theories online from a bunch of people that suggest this is actually Jackson's drop pod. It has a bunch of IMC logos on it, and Jackson is Bangalore's missing brother, and there's been a lot of lore leading up to that. So here is this POI. I think if we get close to it, it should play a voice line. Huh. This looks like... No. No way. Can't be. So, it's kind of suggested that with that voice line, you know, this looks like, what, Jackson's ship, maybe? Uh, it's a little torn up, you know. It's landed down. Um, and I notice here, I don't know if that's blood or mud. Maybe it's just mud, but either way, this is an IMC drop pod by the looks of it that seems to have landed down from a larger ship. Uh, and as we can see here, it says primary parachute eject. So, you know, if your drop pod is about to explode and hit the ground and, you know, there's a parachute option. So it's definitely some kind of IMC military thing. Let's take a look inside. It's got this sort of... Um, these doors here, so you can kind of like seal off the outside. So that kind of would suggest that it can be dropped down from space, right? You would think so. So, yeah, that's pretty interesting. And then we've got these laptops around that say contacting origin ship. So perhaps we need to come back here in the future. There may be some kind of message that will play. Once again, I mean, there's no signs that this is Jackson's ship. So it's just theories at this point everything else is kind of just um you know nothing too interesting but there's a bunch of little decals really really interesting they just suddenly added this frontier 001 so it might be from the frontier definitely seems very interesting. And there's another one, Contacting Origin Ship, and it's got an IMC logo on it. So it's definitely an IMC ship. And we know Bangalore was an IMC soldier, as was uh, Bangalore's brother Jackson. So that may be, you know, what we're kind of waiting for here. Some kind of tease that may lead into Season 11 already. This is such an interesting design. Like, it's really quite a complex teaser. Something tells me we may be seeing more of these. Now, obviously, it's starting to get to that point where people are really saying there might be a new map in Season 11. Maybe we'll see a lot of these on the new map. Who knows? All right, they've also added a bunch of lore blurbs to some of the skins, which means these skins are now lore. So we're going to go through some of them, starting with Necrosis. Caustic, sensing his death was imminent at one point sought to become a simulacrum his project proposal was rejected after the results of his psychological exam proved troubling so Cossack actually applied to be a simulacrum uh, after he found out he was dying uh, and it was denied so there's some kind of application pro process to becoming a simulacrum which I thought was pretty interesting I think there's another one as well for Caustic Black Heart Caustic. Alexander knocks and denies involvement in an infamous prison break on Gaia, asserting the culprit was merely a lookalike. However, the individual who corroborated his account can no longer be located. It was probably him, right? Um, interestingly, we may be going to Gaia for the next map, so maybe that will be a POI. That will be very interesting. Next up, we have Servant Marvin. So, we know this was a lost skin. It was shown in Season 6, but I don't quite understand how... It can be law. Like, you see, he's been really um, done up, you know? Pathfinder once attended a high society charity event on Malta. Unfortunately, the party blew up before he could give a toast to friends, friendship, and riding a zipline with friends. Pretty cool. Then we've got this fuse one as well. Real steel. 
When Walter Fitzroy first started fighting in the Bone Cage, he tried a few different personas before landing on essentially himself. There was Waltitude, Mr. Biffo, and a cult favorite, Time Bomb. Nice, so this is one of his costumes, I guess. But, hang on a minute. That doesn't quite make sense, because he's got an ar like a metallic arm here. He didn't have a metallic arm, you know, when that whole Bone Cage fighting started, right? Hmm... Interesting. Either way, next we have a lifeline skin, Vital Signs. AJ Shea was always the first with a hand up to volunteer for the most extreme expeditions in her time with the Frontier Corps. So much so that they were informally dubbed She, she Expeditions? She Expeditions? Interesting name. And then we've got Angel City Hustler Mirage as well. Elliot worried his first hollow devices he built with his mother, Evelyn, needed more pizzazzling. Evelyn reassured her son that he didn't need pizzazzle to look heroic. Alright, just a nice little piece of lore between him and his mum. And then finally we have Victory La Octane here. As Octane's feet exploded, literally and figuratively, fame, fortune and fan fanaticism screamed for his attention. He couldn't hear it over his favourite sound, his racing heartbeat. So, if you didn't know, he's got like a bunch of fans online and he posts all his stuff online. Uh, and that's kind of the reason he joined the Apex game, so that's pretty interesting. And finally, we have the new image of Ash. Like, Ash's appearance has changed. Now, if what Blisk said makes sense and it all lines up, maybe Rambart helped with... Building Ash a new look? Is Ash finally going to be coming to the games? I don't know, but there's definitely some more lore building up there in the background as well. Have you found any other Easter eggs? Let me know. I'll see you in the comments. Cheerio!